Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what I like about Sauvignon Blanc. First of all, to me, it is the great variety that I go to in a restaurant. And we can talk about restaurants at another time about our pet peeves mm. uh, for a uh, beginning wine. Mm. Uh, I think that uh, it's perfect, especially because most Sauvignon Blancs don't have oak. Correct. They have good acidity. Uh, they are lighter than Chardonnays. They have a little bit more depth and body uh, than, say, a Riesling, so they say fit right in the middle. And that's my take on it. And, uh, you know, we have a couple here. And what's your feeling it's, on it? Sorry. No, no that's but I, was saying, I agree with you because it's, it's a drink in its own right. And I find a lot of people who virtually haven't got started on wine give them a Sauvignon Blanc and they say, hey, I like that. And they then move on saying, well, I'm, I drink Sauvignon Blanc. And it's, you've gone from almost nothing to I drink Sauvignon Blanc, which, which should be a great leap forward to saying, I know about a grape variety. I think it's Good a point. wonderful grape variety for beginners. Yeah. I have a column uh, in a magazine called Wine Spectator. And not long ago, a year or two ago at the most, I wrote a column and the, the headline on the column was, the world's most honest wine. And it was Sauvignon Blanc. And basically what I was submitting is that with many other wines, Chardonnay, Cabernet, uh, many grape varieties, there is a certain, I don't want to use the word manipulation because that doesn't sound, it's not quite accurate, but things get done to the wine. Sauvignon Blanc is a straight wire wine. The grapes get, get pressed, the wine goes into either a stainless steel tank or in some cases into some wood, and then it gets filtered typically and it gets put in the bottle and it gets put on the shelf usually within a year of the harvest. There really, nowhere in the world is Sauvignon Blanc manipulated very much. You don't have sweeter styles of Sauvignon Blanc, you don't have oakier styles of Sauvignon Blanc. You pretty much get whatever the particular soil and the particular climate where the grape is rooted pretty much winds up it's in the It's straightforward. I think that that's Very a thing too. So, and uh, the, un the unfortunate thing is that our consumers that are watching the show need to know a little bit about, uh, in the United States, so it says Sauvignon Blanc, or maybe says Fumé Blanc, we'll talk about that as well. But in, in, in France, they actually don't use the word Sauvignon Blanc. No. This is because the French obviously don't like to make it easier for no. us no. to no. understand. Right. Absolutely. That a wine label in France is a work of art rather than a work of information. They're changing though. Oh yes, they are changing. Yeah, they are. Wouldn't you after 20 years of seeing your sales go down like But uh, this. I was just talking about like a wine like Sancerre. Sancerre is now the... Voila. Voila, okay, monsieur, now, votre Sancerre. Hey, they, they, I, who, now, who got married up there? Actually, Matt got <laughs> married there. That, that was the second marriage. Right? This was where we hold up for our honeymoon, this okay. little fortress of love here. But Sancerre, that yeah. doesn't tell you on the label, nowhere does it tell you it's 100% Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. No. And, and again, uh, when you're talking about wood, I'm, I'm even... We're talking about 95% of most Sauvignon Blancs made in the world yeah. that are, are non-oaked, so it's Correct. refreshing. Yeah. You drink it right away. It's, uh, uh, what is it? Non-intimidating. Yeah. Tell it's, me about about Sancerre. If you were, you teach wine classes yes. all the time. So if somebody says, you know, in Kevin Zraeli's 10 second wine word association, I say to you, okay, Sancerre, you say? I say uh, medium in style, uh, fragrant uh, floral in the nose. Um, the acidity is going to be higher than the fruit, especially at the beginning. But what a great wine to have with oysters and clams something like that, or a light style fish, a grilled style fish. And now you said 10 seconds, so I'm gonna stop. Any I, other? I, I, I would say two seconds. Fabulous, fresh, refreshing. What about mineral? Uh, the minerality yeah. also, I would think yep, that would, be that would come through. And again, I, I wanna, <laughs> you're 100% you're correct, uh, as we, we, we've spoken before about Riesling Pinot Noir as well. But there's another one, Pouy Fumet, that people talk about. So Sancerre, Pouy Fumet, both. And again, nowhere does it say the label. Yeah. On the label, 100% Sancerre. And then the these terrible twins just looking at each other across the, the Loire. Yeah, the two districts right, right across yeah. the river. And, and of course, that's where they got the idea from Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, in places like New Zealand, which have now become world famous because of this grape, they looked at things like Sauvignon Blanc. Right. Hey, hey, dog point. Dog the guy dog. who makes dog point is a really cool dude. He is he a is very a nice cool guy. They have a guy. great dog, but yeah. uh, although I don't think it has yeah. anything to do with that. But, but that, what, what they've done uh, is taken the idea of Sancerre, because remember 20, 30 years ago, refreshing white wines were very few and far between. Correct. We think, oh, hey, isn't all white wine refreshing? It wasn't then. No. Um, Sancerre was, and these guys thought, what can we do? We can't take the, the, the soil of Sancerre away, but we can take the grape of Sancerre away. They took the grape away and said, well, we'll make our version. As it happened, their version was about four times as intense and four times as, as, as focused as the stuff in Sancerre. 
And that's why Sauvignon Blanc now is such a famous name, because it, it's got a real tangy zing, like any, unlike any other grape. Was it the Kiwis gave, in New Zealand who made Sauvignon Blanc famous, I think so. in your opinion? Well, you, I think the Kiwis you, made it famous. You gave it one, you gave it one word, uh, but I'm going to throw it back to Matt, if you had 20 seconds, because I believe that a, a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand is totally different in style than a Sancerre or a Puy Fumé or mm. from California or from wherever. How would you describe the flavors of a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc? Well, I'll back up and I'll take an extra 10 seconds. Okay. In my opinion, the Sauvignon Blanc is divided easily enough and accurately enough into two categories. Cool climate Sauvignon Blanc and warmer climate Sauvignon Blanc. Cool climate Sauvignon Blanc are expressions that are largely on the citrus end of things. You'll have lemon zest, you'll have uh, lime, tangy, zingy, zippy, all of those adjectives tend to be applied. In the case of the Marlborough District, which is at the northern tip of the South Island, New Zealand has two islands, it's very cool, I've been there several times, I'm sure the two of you yep. have been there as well. It is the most extreme example, in my opinion, of cool climate Sauvignon Blanc. It is very zippy, very zingy, very citric. <laughs> How about exotic? Limey. Would you go with exotic? There are exotic fruits in right. there, lychee, right. uh, all those sorts of things. Uh, and and it's wonderful, and I think Oz is absolutely and the correct. zing is the most important. The thing zing is there. there. Now the warmer climate ones, of which say Napa Valley is an example, uh, and this is this is the uh, Mondavi, you know, who invented the word Fumé Blanc, and it's this is a warmer climate Sauvignon Blanc. It's more about figs. It's more a, a, a slightly nutty taste. They tend to be richer and rounder texturally in the mouth, where the ones from the cooler climates tend to be not so much thinner, but, but a little sharper in the mouth, a little more cutting. And there's a, another thing we've forgotten, the zinginess of South Island New Zealand is because it's cold down there. Well, you can actually go to warm countries, and right next to the sea, it gets very cold because True. of sea frets and Pacific winds. And South Africa? Chile and South Africa. Two areas we yeah. should look at. Uh, up and coming, up, up and coming. And coming. Real, quickly, stuff. real quickly, on food. I said oysters and clams. I also said grilled uh, fish. You guys have any other comments when you're having a Sauvignon Blanc? Uh, I, know, I know a lot of people have said it, but I love it with um, Southeast Asian food. Okay, there, there's another one. Uh, sure, we we talked about Riesling as a lighter style. If you want to go to a little fuller style, yeah. cheeses. Especially yes. the, the cool climate. Well, I, I take that back. Both styles of Sauvignon Blanc go extremely well with soft cheeses. Not harder cheeses like Gruyere or cheddar, but soft cheeses, a double, a double cream, even a triple cream, because typically Sauvignon Blancs have acidity. They slice through yeah. it well. Goat's then, cheese particularly? Goat, 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 goat cheese, cheese, of course, is famous with Sancerre, right. that's what they do, but you're absolutely right with the Chevalis. I would say one more thing, though, and it's something I, I do walk my talk. If I go to a restaurant and either I don't want to pay attention to the wine list or they don't have an interesting wine list or I'm with some people who, for whatever reason, are not terribly interested in wine. You can never go wrong ordering a Sauvignon Blanc. It is the safest white wine to get on a wine list. I think I, that's important. Do you agree with that, Stephen? When, when I go to a bar, mm, right. I would say I've, I've bought more Sauvignon Blanc in a bar in the last year than every other white wine put Because you're never going to get it one that's over oaky. That's three out of three. To me, price, Sauvignon Blanc, mm -hmm. price, quality, everything is there and it great, goes great with food. So let's toast a Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon it's Blanc. the safest white wine <laughs> bet in the world. <laughs>